Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Chris Grandy, ChrisGrandy.com, PlanWithChris.com, throwing that in there now. I um, want to talk to you today about long-term care planning for younger people. So you hear a lot of advice about being properly insured, or at least you should. Actually, you know, you don't. You, a lot of the literature when you go to financial websites is all about how to allocate your portfolio properly. So we spend so much time telling somebody with $5,000 how to allocate their portfolio, never tell them to get properly insured. Articles drive me nuts. I already ranted on about that in my financial planning for young people video that uh, if you're young or any of my clients who have kids in their uh, 20s, maybe early 30s, got to send them to that video. But um, insurance and, and, and kind of guarding your back door and guarding and putting in a good foundation in place so overlooked these days, really annoying as a, as a financial planner. It's super annoying. But back to the point, long-term care planning for Gen X and Gen Y. Should you do it? And what are the ramifications or pros and cons? So first off, should you do it? I have an easy solution, all right, because there is a small chance that in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, you may come down with either get an injury or come down with some kind of debilitating disease. It's more likely an injury, I think, than it would be some kind of disease. But you could have something could happen to you where you need care for a long period of time and long term care type of care. And what's difficult is because if it's something that just really affects your ability to take care of yourself, but you're not in close to death or anything like that, this could be a long time that you need assistance and it gets very expensive. And if you're, you know, 40 years old with a couple of young kids and you're trying to save money for their college and, and you're trying to pay down the house and trying to, trying to secure your family, um, I guess I'll just look at it from my perspective as me. So let's say, let's say I'm just trying to take care of my kids, support my family. Can we, could we afford you know, $7,000 a month of me getting care, you know, and probably not. So what happens is, is that yes, health insurance would cover for the medical related stuff, but the caretaking, it's the same as seniors, you know, Medicare does not cover long term care does not cover being taken care of if you can't take care of yourself. Same thing for young people, your health insurance is not going to take care of you if you can't take care of yourself. So for young people, I have a great solution. It's something I've written about before, and really think it fills a void in, in the insurance coverage, and it's called the Catastrophic Disability Insurance Rider. And uh, the major disability companies all offer this. It is a rider that goes along with an individual disability policy that pays you a big chunk of money per month if you were to become, to get the kind of, be in the kind of position, say, that a senior would be who needed long-term care. So you get hit by a bus and you just can't take care of yourself. We have an accident a gymnastics accident or something, you know, or, you, you know, you're playing uh, uh, whatever, you know, you're doing something, uh, you know, you like to uh, whitewater raft, something terrible happens. This insurance would cover that type of situation um, all the way through the policy's effectiveness, you know, so a lot of these disability policies go to age 65 or 67. So imagine if something bad happened to you at age 40 and having 27 years of coverage uh, taken care of. That's money that you don't have to take away from your kids, your family. And the nice thing about it is because it is such a lower, low probability event. I mean, not so low that you wouldn't want to have some coverage for it, but it is a low probability event that this insurance is really cheap. You know, when I work with, um, with clients and we're trying to review insurances and we, we looking at disability, I'll oftentimes recommend, you know, a smaller disability policy to complement the work one that they have. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if you could just, get your own full disability policy. They, they can get expensive, um, but, you know, to complement the work one at least so that, um, you know, so that you have some coverage and if you were not working or decided to work for yourself at some point, you're still covered in some way. And then to get a nice um, catastrophic rider on top of that policy. And so, you know, I'll give you an example of a recent policy, like, you know, a 40 something year old guy getting, um, you know, $3,000 a month of disability coverage to complement the, 
you know, the five figure monthly benefit he has at work. And to get an additional like $5,000 a month of catastrophic coverage, um, super cheap. I think it was two or $300 a year. Again, the likelihood of this happening is, is small. So the cost is small, but man, talk about a lot of bang for your buck. If this terrible situation ever happened, um, you were, you've got coverage. You're not, you know, for, again, you're 38 years old and you've got, you know, 27 years until you're 65. Imagine having that kind of coverage. So the way I would blend this in is I would consider good catastrophic coverage. And then as you get closer to 50, start looking at getting a long-term care policy and have the two of them blend out. So maybe you buy a small long-term care policy with inflation coverage, you know, and a decent little amount, very inexpensive, and then, you know, build that up as you get closer to 60, and then your disability would phase out at 65. So um, that way, you know, if, again, if you have tremendous cash flow or if you have plenty of cash flow and you can handle all this stuff, you know, I would say getting, you know, getting all of that makes a lot of sense, especially, um, you know, having a good, solid individual disability policy. But for those of you who, you know, you, you have great income, but maybe your money's going in all these different places. You're taking care of a lot of people. I mean, I get clients who are taking care of parents. Uh, you know, fortunately, they're in that uh, they're taking just care of multiple generations. It gets expensive, even if you have a great income. You know, you could be making three hundred thousand dollars plus a year, and if you've got to take care of parents and kids and etc., um, you know that that's that might not last. You know, you could be making you, you know maybe if you're making five hundred thousand dollars a year, but let's say you've built a certain lifestyle for yourself, and then all of a sudden things command bills and things, taking care of parents etc. You know, even then. And of course, you know, you're getting taxed at 40%, you know, state and federal. So it's not like you're keeping $500,000 a year, right? So um, again, so I, I get it if you can't pay for all this stuff, but if you, but to give you an idea of a little transition way to do it, getting a catastrophic rider and then having that go. And as you get closer to age 50, maybe as you, you know, you turn 50 and then, you know, you get a base level of long-term care insurance and then build up off of that. Um, and the nice thing about that is if you get a base level of long-term care insurance with a solid company that does not have a history of increasing premiums, then at least you know that, you know, for the most part, if you can get the, a price that works well with your budget, that it should stay there, you know, barring any you know, crazy stuff. And we can't rule out crazy stuff in long-term care, but barring any crazy stuff, you get a long-term care policy. It should stay there. So as you've got this a policy with an inflation rider on it where the, the coverage is going up every year. So even though you bought it at 50, you're inflation protected because you might not need the coverage till you're 85 or never, but um, but at least you're, you're paying that flat premium and there's a decent chance that doesn't move too much. So that's how I would do it. Have the, have the uh, catastrophic uh, coverage, you know, blending in, get close to age 50, start adding some long-term care. And then therefore you've created a bit of a, uh, um, of a, of a serious disability protection program. Again, I'm not discussing other insurance needs like life insurance, et cetera. I'm just wanting to focus this particular talk on, on serious illness, but, and whether somebody who is, you know, a Gen X or, or Gen Y an established Gen Y um, head of household or such should have long-term care insurance. And what I'm saying in summary is that if, that the, the catastrophic rider is a great, thing to look at and should seriously consider um, to, to cover that little bit of, you know, that gap in the insurance, that lower probability event that you could have a traumatic injury or illness, and then later on blending it with long-term care as you get, you know, around age 50 or so. So anyway, that's just my thoughts on that. It's a great solution. I, I highly recommend that, that you look into this with your planning team. Um, if you don't have a planning team, feel free to you know, reach out to me if you have questions, but you know, just something to discuss with your planning team to implement this and get it in place. So hope this is helpful to you, this discussion, give you some things to think about. Um, you know, the goal of usually my videos is not to completely solve your problem, but to give you an idea to think about maybe something, a problem, <laughs> maybe I created a new problem, but that's good. That's a good planning thing. And, and the job of one of the jobs of a planner and advisor is to bring into your attention things that you need to address. And so hopefully this was helpful. And then by taking this information, Either go to your planning team or find a planning team that can that can incorporate this into your overall plan into your budget and make some good things happen for you. So thanks again for watching. Feel free to just like the video and subscribe if you thought this was helpful. And if you have any questions, just you know ping me and I'd love to help you out. Thanks so much. Have a great day.